Hi guys, today we are going to clean spats. Now I want to stress this is one way of doing it. It is not the right way. There is no right way. This is just quite a simple, easy way of doing it that should, should get you a decent result. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with spats, a pre-boiled kettle of water and a basin. Okay, so stick the basin in the sink, pop the spats in to the basin. Down. Now, I'm going to use some Vanish Anti-Oxy Action Washing Powder stuff. You can use really any sort of washing powder is fine. I tend to use Vanish, the Vanish stuff because it seems to have a good bit of stain removal on it as well. It seems to work for it. But I'm sure your parents will know of better things. Um, so, fire in some of that under your basin and pour in the boiling water. You may need you may need a second kettle's worth, just depending on the basin that you're using, how much water you can use. So pop, pop it in, then use some sort of an implement, a spoon at the end of this lovely scrubbing brush, just to pat the spats down and make sure that the washing powder is covering them all, okay? Just make sure that everything is underneath the water and in the bubbles so that it will all get nice and clean. And that, that's it. For about 30 minutes, an hour, we're gonna leave them to steep in the water. That will hopefully soften a lot of the, the really tough stains and make it a lot easier to then scrub them off uh, once we take them up. One hour later. Right guys, so once you have left your spats to steep for a while, I'm gonna empty the water out. It should be a funny shade of brown. And not removing the spats themselves now. So each spat when you're cleaning them, it doesn't really matter too much about the interior. Okay, the inside of the spot will be uh, will be marked and stained from the shoes and polish and things like that. It doesn't really matter about that. It's mainly the outside of the spot. So what you want is you want a bar of soap. And you're going to just pour that the soap into a cloth. Focusing on any areas that have some tough stains necessarily being moved, then you're going to grab a nail brush. Without knocking your bar of soap away, grab Rub any stains that haven't been removed, okay? So. You'll often find that stains will be on the inside edge of the spot where your feet have maybe clicked together and you'll have rubber marks um, on the soles. So that's where you'll probably spend most of your time. It's really important to make sure that there's no stains um, on the outside though as well. Because that's the thing that will see the most. So we need to make sure that we're everywhere then what you want to do is rinse the spot. So let's turn this on. Let's move it away. Okay. 
you want to rinse the spot, rinse all the soap out and see if you have missed anywhere. Just checking all around them. It would be good to use hot water for this, but obviously be careful that you do not burn yourselves. If you are using hot water, rubber gloves will mitigate that. I would say, well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be acceptable. Better than it was when you started. That's really what we need. Just make sure that you rinse all the soap off really, really well. Both on the inside of the spot and the outside. So we'll travel through. Okay. Then, if you join the Velcro together, so join the Velcro together and roll the spot from the back. Starting with that back edge, roll it up nice and tightly. You'll be able to wring a lot of the excess water out. It should speed up the drying time quite considerably. Okay. And that is it. One washed spot. Okay guys, once you have washed your spots, you can put them into the washing machine for a spin cycle. I would probably say don't tumble dry them, otherwise you might go down a size or two. But uh, certainly put them on for a spin cycle to remove excess moisture, it's fine. And then you can just set them over the radiator. Like so best if you don't put them close, too close to a fire or anything like that and um, just leave them leave them even outside to dry and they should be fine once you've done that and they are dry then if you can iron them um best ironing them from the inside so that you don't mark the outside of the spot uh, just to make sure that they are they're nice and smooth and they look good when they are on your feet